Brady. Brady pipe and supplies. He's, uh, he's making the media rounds, and it's just so cool what he's doing. Yeah, if you didn't see the this morning's <laughs> show, Biden it's out on Facebook. Go take a look at it because it's a great right. show. It's a great interview with John. Joseph R. Biden Jr. This oh. is America's he day. Keep talking. I'm, I want to make sure I don't miss my okay. 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 January day, my whole okay. soul is in this, bringing Good America to together. We'll see you at the track on Saturday. And I ask every American to join me okay. in this Saturday cause. Night. Talk Radio 102. Yeah, we'll probably won't wrap up with WFM. Oh. If you're not smiling, then you're not listening to Sport okay. Talk. Quake, 30 years in the air chair. Okay. Cowboy Joe, a talk team member for more than 20. Work, 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 work. Afternoons at 3 on Talk Radio 102.3 FM. Again, in a minute. Talk Radio 102.3. Yeah, I, I, I had about, <clears throat> they had about 18 dump trucks of dirt. Thank you. Thank you for staying with us here on Cindy's Choice. WGOW. Talk Radio 102.3 FM, and here we are. I've got Larry Dismukes with me, the manager of the newly owned <laughs> Boyd Speedway. Boyd Speedway. Uh, Russell Racing. I love that. Russell, Russell Racing. Racing. And now we've got John Schneider. Yeah, John hey, Schneider's hey. hanging out with us. And uh, I want to jump in, John, because I know you don't have much time. And um, I want everybody to know we, we started the first uh, Boyd Speedway podcast. John's on that. We'll be sharing and it was just, it's a, I'm going to tell you, it's a big tease. We talked about everything John's doing, but I'm like intrigued. I want to know more about John. I, I, I feel a story. So we're going to be digging in more with him at some point, but John, like, I yeah. love what I love something you said on the podcast. I don't want to get it wrong. The Southern you're bringing back Southern horsepower, Southern horsepower comedy. comedy. <laughs> I love that. Southern I love that. Horsepower comedy. Yep. Um, when, uh, when I was a teenager and then well, I was a teenager when I started Dukes, but before that it was white line fever, it was Gator, it was convoy. Um, it was moon runners. There was it, it, a lot of the top grossing films of, of that whole era were Southern horsepower comedies. And of course, Burt Reynolds yep. was the king of the king of all oh, yeah. of that. Exactly. And, um, nobody has made any kind of movies like that as far as i can tell i think maybe since 1986 since the dukes of hazard went went off the air the first time nobody's done it and it's uh it's a shame because it's uh, it's a it's a very viable genre and uh, right. folks where i live you know more people live at the end of a dirt road than live on a paved road i believe in this country so more people are in tune with the uh the wants, the dreams, the lifestyle of someone who has maybe one stoplight in their whole town, then live in a high rise somewhere. So why in the world is no one making movies like that one there, yeah. like that one right there? That's that stand on it. Oh, it man. is doing so well. People are loving stand on it. They love to laugh. They love to watch cars fly through the air. They love to watch somebody drive a car like, well, of course, Larry, you know, they love to watch somebody drive a car better than anybody else. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, uh, and you know, it, it, it's, it's, I am so proud to be, to be bringing this kind of entertainment back at a time. Now think about this, Cindy and Larry, Hollywood has turned their backs on everyone. You know, they blame it on COVID. A lot of people blame a lot of things on COVID. Uh, I think they're just lazy. I think they've just decided, well, you know, we don't want to make anything. They haven't had a new idea in 10 years anyway. I, that's what I was about to yeah. say is, you know, the typical thing, because, you know, like what I'm doing, people are like, how are you doing this and what are you doing? Well, I'm not following the gimmicks and the trends. <laughs> right. You know, it's like it, this. I see like a void that needs to be filled. So I want to go fill that void. Well, you got to be different. Yeah. You got to be different. Let's it, face it. Yeah. But it, and and it kind know, of throws just, people off at first, but then once they catch on, <laughs> they come around. But I loved what you said yesterday on the show, John, when you set out to do stand on it, it's not a remake of the movie. It's a tribute. Tell us a little that. bit about that. It's a tribute. I was, uh, I, I was in smoking the bandit kind of, I'm in the very end of smoking <laughs> the bandit. I talked my way onto the set and uh, wound up spending the day chatting with Jackie Gleason. 
um, who at the time I think was living in Peekskill, which was not very far from where I'm from in, in New York State. Well, years later, uh, Hal Needham became a dear friend of mine. He wrote and directed Smokey and the Bandit. And Burt Reynolds became a dear friend of mine. And we talked about this Southern horsepower comedy thing. And, you know, how come people are missing the boat? How come nobody's doing that anymore? And Burt was a big Dukes of Hazard fan. Certainly Hal was a big Dukes of Hazard fan as well. Um, but we kind of, kind of made a promise that one of these days when, when I get my hands on the, on the switch and I can make the kind of movies I want to make when I want and with whom I want to make them, that I would go back and do this again. So Stand On It is a movie that is aware that there was, I, I did it so that if, if, if Bert and Hal were alive, they would love it. Mm. And I am and I think quite they sure would. that they would love it. Absolutely. It's a great and, movie. And, you know, it's, it's, uh, to me, it's a no brainer to make, to make a movie like this. And we're making another one. We're making another one called Poker Run. It's not Cannonball Run. But it has some of Cannonball Run in it. It has some of it's a mad, 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 mad world in it. And it has some of Rat Race in it. And most of it is totally new and unique. So this is not a reboot. It's not a revisit. It's a movie that is aware that there was a movie called Smokey and the Bandit. And John Schneider gets thrust into the reality of Smokey and the Bandit. And I just love it. I'm so proud of this movie. I mean... It's just fun. Now, John, you know, where unless can... you had too much fun in 2020 and there's no more room for fun in mm. your life because you had just, it was just a blast. And so far, 2021 has been so swell. Then uh, forget it. Don't watch the movie because you don't need to laugh. But if you need to laugh, if you've got cabin fever, number one, come to the races on Friday night. Number yep. two, get a hold of stand on it somehow, some way. We'll tell you how you can do that. I was going to say, tell us, tell the audience, where can you go and get a copy? Well, if you want to get a copy of it, you want to get a DVD, go to johnschneiderstudios.com. If you are someone who only streams movies, a lot of people only stream movies now. We're not, we're not on Netflix. We're not on Amazon. We are only at cineflixdod.com. That's C-I-N-E-F-L-I-X dod.com that is alicia and my streaming platform we own that so we have if, if you go and you spend i think it's 9.99 then uh, we'll get 8.99 of that that'll go toward making the next movie and that's important you know you you, you mm -hmm. there's no sense in having a small dream so right. alicia and i have big big dreams just like you do larry just like you do cindy it's 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 important to dream big and go for it with everything that you've got all the time. And that's what we do. So uh, I would appreciate your support of that by buying the DVD or buying the soundtrack or, or uh, renting the movie, streaming it at Cineflix DOD, whatever you want to do. I promise, I promise you will not be disappointed with this movie, especially if you're a Dukes of Hazard fan or a Dirt Track fan or a Smokey and the Bandit fan. You're going to love it. Oh, hey, man. by the way, I'm not allowed to have good dreams right now because it's only a few days away to the race. So everything I'm dreaming is all You're... nightmares about what yeah. did we forget to have ready for it's race eat, day. It's eat, sleep, right and oh, dream. Oh, you'll know. It's amazing. But, it's amazing. But Saturday night, I'm going to sleep like a rock. When that when go. that enduro race is done, I'm out. I'm, I'm going to sleep like a rock. Well, Larry, you know that no matter how many lists you make and no matter how hard you try, you're always going to forget something. But I don't know. be one of those people that only sees the things you didn't do. You need to take time mm -hmm. to go, I did all these things right. So what? I forgot two or three oh, things. Oh, I got to share something with you there. That is so good. And I, I, so I encourage people because I was kind of barely not homeless still couch surfing when I got invited to be on radio and they were like, ah. they're like, we want to make you a, you know, we want to put you on radio. I am not a radio show host. They said, you're inquisitive, you're authentic and you care. That is better than perfect. Oh my goodness. I'm like, I can do that. And I am so not perfect. 
It's like I'm this, you know, it's ums and us and oh yeah, I forgot that or saying a name wrong or whatever. Okay. But it's like if you just get away from looking at what you're doing wrong and keep yeah. focused straight ahead at what you're doing right and where you're going, it all falls together. It does. Yes. It absolutely does. <laughs> and and here's something I think that is important for everybody to hear. You need to expect great things. Yep. Every exactly. day, all day, expect great things things and they will come to you okay that's exactly so that. why i'm wanting to dig in more with you there is so much more to you and alicia than entertainment and i am really eager to dig into that but before the october event we'll have to do something uh because it's will, i can i like where can, i want to know where's that couch. coming from like john where's that coming from <laughs> no we're i'm a stone's throw from the uh from the speedway i'll be dragging uh, I'll, I'll be dragging you over here. Do some arm twisting. We'll get him over here, Larry. Okay. It's not hard. But, be easy. Not hard. I'd love to. But I'll tell you to. what. Now, when you meet Alicia, that is a sharp lady. Let me tell you. Oh, yeah. I, she oh, is yeah. super sharp. I was very impressed when I when I met her. And she's tough. I, I tell my friends that she's tough as a Waffle House steak. <laughs> We've got a, a lot of, we're live streaming on Facebook, but they can't hear you. So, we, like, there's a, a Glenn who? Mr. Mr. Glenn from Dalton, Georgia, wants to give you a big hello. And, hey, uh, Mr. Glenn from Dalton, Georgia. And he'll get that later because we're recording this to share as well. Okay. But we've got folks just listening to me and Larry and not getting to know what you're saying. So it's kind of enticing them. But again, everybody, stay tuned. We're going to share. Tuned. We're going to share uh, John's part as well. You'll get to hear the best part. You'll get to hear John speak instead of us speak the whole time. Oh, my gosh. We'll wow. blend it in. Well, I'm really, no, really great. Well, and there's so much more. I mean, you've got a studio in Louisiana. Your beautiful wife is your producer. <laughs> and yep. y'all have actually, like, didn't you say like 11 movies? Or Yeah, the that, stand on it is our 11th film we've made in uh, seven years. Almost, not wow. quite seven years. And then there's like... And, there uh, and seven albums. We've done a lot of music. Uh, the soundtrack for Stand On It, we did all that music too. So it's uh, it's pretty great. I'm 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 loving it. You want to see a fun uh, a fun music video, folks? Look up the song. It's called Roy. Just Roy. R O Y. Writing it down. <laughs> and uh, you'll see a bunch of Stand On It in there, and and uh, you'll see my band, the Stars and Bars band. They're the guys that are going to be with me in October. Uh, Cody McCarver will be with me. He's uh, he's a local right. from Dunlap from yep. Dunlap, Georgia, and Confederate Railroad. Also, uh, Keith Burns from Trick Pony, who's in Stand On It. There's Cody right there. Yep. Um, Trick From Trick Pony, Cody, uh, or uh, Keith Burns from Trick Pony will be with us in October. He's also in Stand On It. So it's a family affair. You know, it's all, it's all friends having a great time and uh, making sure that we expect great things and we share our joy with as many people as we can. Just like me and my new best friend. Sarah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> we've like we've got a duo here. You're like um, this. You're like we're, this. Yeah. We're, we're, like yeah, and this yeah. is going to be amazing. I, it's like this is just going to be too much fun. And I, I'm telling you, hey, listeners, somebody. I know there's somebody out there that wants to sponsor me a car. I want to race. <laughs> I'm ready to race. Cindy's choice. Uh, John, uh, you gotta gotta red, gotta red, get silver, blue. Simulator. Yeah. Yeah. The those, simulator. No, I get vertigo I in those. In the simulator car to race. And, and John, I've got other activities when y'all can, I'm taking you hang gliding and all kinds of things. So it's going to be an interesting summer. <laughs> you remember what I told you earlier, that if the good Lord intended man to fly, he wouldn't have made the ground so hard. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's good. You tried to awesome. convince me that, that uh, hang gliding was safer than racing. And I, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't know. All right. Well, John, we've come up on the next break. I know you've got to go. And hey, uh, thank Larry you so much. I'm going to have oh. some duck. I went duck hunting for the first time last weekend, and I'm going to oh, eat wow. that duck tonight. Oh, yum. Yeah. Oh, that sounds My amazing. My mother-in-law is cooking it right now. Okay, now, we're not going to be able to have exotic duck in the suite on Saturday, John. We'll have Chicken something fingers good. are we'll fine. Have, no, we're having barbecue. All right. Oh, barbecue. I love some barbecue. Love me some barbecue. Hey, thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you Friday, and I yep. look forward to seeing everybody out there on Saturday. Brush up on your national anthem because I don't sing it alone. I require everyone to sing our national anthem together I love as it. a unit. 
Yeah. Okay. All right. Awesome. Love it. Love it. Thank right. you. Thank you, John. Thanks, We're going to stay here. Thanks, John. We'll see you. Bye. Thank Bye. you so much. Okay. All right. Y'all stay with us. We're going to take a quick break here on Cindy's Choice. The news you need. The state needs to know. The city needs to know what to expect in terms of supply so they can set up the distribution system. Talk Radio 102.3 WGOWFM. Cindy's Taylor, Choice is Rick Morley and Son, Inc. for your uh, most complete and comprehensive auto body service. I, I hate when they I provide skillful collision repair, repair body work, paint jobs, dent repair, but, um, and more yes, within our area Cindy's for nearly 30 years. Rick has cultivated really solid relationships with the right partners to offer you a smooth turnkey service that eliminates many headaches for you in the process. And you know you can trust Rick Worley and Son. If they're a the Cindy's choice, the find them at rickworleyandsoninc.com. That's rickworleyandsoninc.com for trusted repairs. Time passes quickly. Before you know it, children are grown, parents or grandparents are gone, and your family has changed forever. A Kanzer family portrait can capture those family connections for many a lifetime to come. I am Cindy of Cindy's Choice, and Kanzer photography is Cindy's Choice because Brad Kanzler is highly revered as a storyteller that uses photography to create the deepest portrait art. Find out more about owning a Kanzler at kanzlerphotography.com. That's kanzlerphotography.com. What makes you smile? Family? Friends? Chattanooga's beautiful outdoors? Hello, this is Dr. Tom Pop with Team Pop Dental. We believe smiling makes you feel better, and we want to help you get your best smile. Our offices in Hickson and East Brainerd provide pediatric dentistry and orthodontics for children, teens, and adults. We are one of the most experienced Invisalign providers in the area. Visit TeamPopDental.com, schedule an appointment, and let us help you smile. And paid for by Bankruptcy Help Group. Attention, are you being harassed by creditors? Um, Are you drowning in credit card debt, medical debt, or debt of any kind and struggling to make ends meet? Bankruptcy can eliminate all of this debt and stop collectors in their tracks. Behind on your mortgage or car payments? Don't worry. We can help stop foreclosures, repossessions, and wage charges. The economic crisis has brought millions of people just like you to this point, and the United States law may allow consumers struggling with debt the same fresh start opportunity businesses have enjoyed for decades. That means you can wipe out your debts entirely and literally start over. This is not a debt settlement or consolidation program where you still owe money. Bankruptcy lets you eliminate your debts completely and start over. Our phone lines are now open and operators are standing by to see if you qualify. Call 800-478-6430 for free to see if you qualify. Call 800-478-6430. That's 800-478-6430. Again, 800-478-6430. From ABC News Tech Trends, the coronavirus pandemic has caused a lot of our shopping to be done on the internet, but that comes with risks. Monica Cardone is the CEO of Chargebacks 911. She says the shift toward online shopping during this pandemic has reached traditionally stubborn groups. If we take the U.S., then most baby boomers have not traditionally been, you know, huge. They haven't flocked to e-commerce. But what we've seen is a 50 percent increase. That means traditional retailers are offering new websites and apps to sell their products. But Cardone says that also creates the perfect environment for fraud. A petri dish really for criminals because new consumers are generally more more gullible. Um, they may, they may sign up for all sorts of different free trial offers that they didn't, they haven't previously been subject to because prior they didn't really spend a lot of time online. With Tech Trends, I'm Michelle Franzen, ABC News. Vaccine rollout suffers long lines and confusion. It won't be worth it if we get our shots. If they close the doors, you're going to have a lot of very unhappy people if they don't get their shots. What else are we going to do? <laughs> it's COVID. We're sitting at home not doing too much. So. Yeah. If I ever get through COVID, I'll probably die. The goal of vaccinating 100 million people in the first 100 days is a realistic goal. We can do 1 million people per day. Talk Radio 102.3 WGOWFM. Talk Radio 102.3. Going back live. Thank you. Thank you for staying with us here on Cindy's Choice pretty easy to do when you have a guest like john schneider <laughs> oh yeah absolutely an exciting guy i mean think he's, of all the things that he's done I, I gotta tell you larry this is kind of cool because you know i'm not like i wasn't like i didn't have teen idol 
posters on my wall or I've never really got excited about I was celebrities. Always a hazard fan. But that that yeah, it's it's not about like, oh, it's a celebrity. Like these are cool people <laughs> that are doing cool amazing things. And I like I got to hang out with Tim Tebow a few months ago. And, and now John I'm getting to hang a, out with John Schneider. I'm John like is such a personable person. Oh, he's I as mean, down to earth as they come. So down to earth, super guy, super, super yeah, guy. Yeah. No, it's not like it's a, uh, you know, oh, wow. Well, uh, he, he's, you know, it's a, uh, no, we're this, he's doing cool stuff. He's a cool mm. guy. I can't wait to meet Alicia. I feel yesterday. like I know her. I've heard so much about her. He bought a caboose from a train yesterday. He's brought it over to the house I, to remodel this caboose to be able to use in the next movie. I mean, we didn't have time to bring that up here because I wanted to bring that up because, you know, when he said that about Wild Wild West fan, I'm like, oh, my gosh. Yep. I was like, that just is that is so cool. So come on out to the race this Saturday. And I also uh, Cindy's Choice has a really cool partnership with the Lowe's on Gun Barrel. Mm -hmm. Pete Lane is you know is cindy's choice to serve the community he loves serving the community so we team up on a lot of things uh, we went and took lunches to fire departments on on 9 11 he mm -hmm. sponsored our armed forces mm -hmm. day parade well he's gonna i'm uh brit my assistant's gonna run by and pick up some lowe's um gift cards oh wow and i'm gonna be able to give out six 25 dollar and 250 dollar um gift That's cards cool. So we'll, there'll wow. be tickets, there'll, there'll be tickets at the door. So get your ticket. And then yep. throughout the night, what did you say your announcer's name is? Steve Milling. Steve Millings. He'll be uh, announcing the ticket Steve winners. Will be announcing and the uh, winners. you just got to come find me and I'll give you your uh, Lowe's uh, gift card. So thank you. Um, I love my partnership with uh, this is the Lowe's on gun barrel. Shout out to Pete, Lowe's. That's Pete super, Lane. Super He's a nice of those guys. I can't wait to bring him out to the races. He's a, a really, really super good guy. And then I was telling you about uh, City Choice also wants to. Uh, we're teaming up with Chattanooga Sports, mm -hmm. and the folks around here know Chattanooga Sports because they're the one that bring Iron Man and mm -hmm. Head of the Hooch and the Chattanooga Marathon and mm -hmm. all these cool events. Uh, Tim Morgan is the president, and we're going to team team up and. If, I don't know if it'll be a 5K or what we'll do, but to contribute to um, the Pretty in Pink mm -hmm. that's involving John Schneider's major event. Oh, I, I just, I haven't even pictured oh, yet. Well, we're everything. With, we're, we're also going to incorporate a race into that. We are. We're working with John as well because we're, um, we're going to go out and get uh, an old, John is a huge Dodge Plymouth fan, obviously from the Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> Um, so we're working on, we're going to go get an old fury and we're going to paint it pink and it'll be a pink version of the general Lee. <laughs> and then we're going to, we're going to auction that car off during the weekend. It's, this is just going to be so much fun. It's going to be really exciting. It's going to be a big, big weekend. And I got to tell you, there's such good, before anybody even knew about John Schneider, the buzz that Emerson had bought the Speedway, everybody just loves that. Well, that's the, just, it just, that, what I'm else little, could happen? I'm a little biased. I got to tell you, the only reason that I am here doing this and operating the track is because of that man. He is one super special human being. Uh, yeah. I, I'm also a little personally biased because he happens to be my father. -in -law. Exactly. <laughs> but even if he was not no. my father-in-law, I got to tell you, um, he is probably the nicest man I've ever met in my life. Oh, he's been a bit, like I said, you know, I, I was like barely on a, like in a small radio station, barely not homeless. Nobody knew who I was, but everybody kept saying, you need to meet Emerson. You need to meet Emerson. And I'm like, what's the best way? I was like, well, I'll just call Emerson and get him on my radio show. And, um, it, yeah, he's been a big encourager of mine ever Absolutely. since and just you know just as helpful as he can be uh but i i you know with his race history and everything like that and he's so beloved well, in our area it was perfect now, he, for him to he raced at boyd speedway um i believe if i have the date right his first race was in 1962 at the track wow so if you come into the simulator room and you see the race car that we have in the simulator room um I told the boss today we had it uh, redecorated in its number 11 because number 11 was one of the car numbers that he ran back when he was at Boyd Speedway. Oh, wow. That was one of my gifts back to him. And, 
and the simulator, uh, the simulator looks amazing. I can't do so. I can't. A, I have so vertigo actual, issues. I have to drive a real car. It's pretty cool. It's a real <laughs> but, race car. So what they've done is they've taken a real race okay. car and they've hooked up the electronics and hydraulics to the car. It's connect. It's just like an airplane simulator. So you're looking at a computer screen. But while you're driving the race car, you're pushing the brake, you're pushing the gas, the car is also moving as if it's on the racetrack itself. So I might can handle that one. Some of those I've done and I, I can like drive and not get, but I've gotten vertigo from them. So I'm eager to try it, uh, uh, but I you can, probably be all right. Yeah. You wouldn't get vertigo from yeah. this one. It's, yeah. it's pretty fun. I've got somebody like over there real. right now it's who's, not like, yeah. who's getting it all set up and testing it out and we should be good. Should be good to go. And I love that somebody on Facebook had brought up food because that is really, cause that's always my thing. I can't eat a lot of the stuff that, you know, I love carnival food, but uh -huh. I can't, I have to have something to balance the carnival food. Yes. And I'm really excited. I got the little tour you know, behind the scenes of the uh, big concession area and mm -hmm. brand new chef. And um, yes, is, yes, indeed, John. Uh, the, sorry, Joe Black from used to be at Farm to Fork. Uh, oh, Joe. Oh, we all love Farm to Fork. Yeah. Joe is an amazing chef. Um, he's got a group laid out there. We'll have, well, we first of all, thank you to the Facebook fans. We posted out there that we had hired Joe. And, and instantly people were saying, Hey, could you, could you bring back fried bologna sandwiches? Could you have onion rings? Could you have barbecue sandwiches? Could you have cheesesteak sandwiches? And I looked at Joe and I said, okay, I guess we're going to have to triple the menu now, Joe. Um, so he's super excited. Uh, he has been working hard. I think everybody is going to be really excited. He's very focused on making sure it's good food. It's affordable food. And you can get your food and get back to the grandstands and watch the races. I love when y'all were talking about that and y'all mentioned fried bologna sandwiches. And I was like, oh, yeah. I've oh, man, I was one. raised on those. Uh, I thought y'all were just kidding. I didn't know that was no. like a real suggestion. I, That's I've, awesome. I personally never had one. Oh, my goodness. Um, but I'm told that they are amazing. I, I don't know if fried bologna is like right with bacon or just under bacon. I mean, I, it's up there. <laughs> right? I don't know. I know they were in there <laughs> cooking some today. And I said, Okay, I'm going to just try one of those on Saturday, guys. <laughs> yeah, hold up. On Saturday. Oh, this is going to be so exciting. Stay with us. We've got a little more show bet left when we get back, and we'll highlight everything that's happening this Saturday, you guys. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a beautiful day at yes. Boyd Speedway. So stay with us for this quick break on Cindy's Choice. WGOW. News when you need it. What else are we going to do? <laughs> it's COVID. We're sitting at home not doing too much. So. Yeah. Talk Radio 102.3. WGOW FM. Hello, this is Tom Tyler with Thomas Tyler CPA, a CPA here in Chattanooga on Heritage Business Court. We work with small businesses, helping them with their tax concerns, their bookkeeping, helping them understand their business and how to make their business better working with the cash flow. We also work with individuals, whether they're large or small, we love helping them achieve the dreams and goals that they have. You could reach us at our website at www.thomastaylorcpa.com. Are you looking for a home inspector? Are you looking to sell your house this year? My name is Desmond Thornton. I'm with Thornton Home Inspections. Visit us online at thorntonhomeinspections.net. We actually can help you get your home sold. Also, we have additional services such as radon testing, mold testing, indoor air quality testing, termite, asbestos testing, lead paint, and others. If you're needing any services like this, feel free to reach out to us at thorntonhomeinspections.net. If there's a service that we can perform for you, contact us at thorntonhomeinspections.net. Cindy here to tell you, when I need help with my vehicles, East Ridge Fast Loop is my auto repair shop. From minor fixes to complete system overhauls, they do it all. Find them near the tunnel on Ringgold Road or at eastridgefastloop.com. Life moves, and we move with it until back, neck, or shoulder pain hits, which brings us to a stop. That's why there's the Joint Chiropractic, a national network of chiropractic clinics that keep people moving, healthy, and active. At the Joint Chiropractic, you never need an appointment or insurance, and they're open evenings and weekends. Keep your life moving with their $29 new patient special, including exam, consultation, and adjustment. And now located on the North Shore in Hickson and in Cleveland. Visit thejoint.com for details. Times are certainly uncertain. In fact, the return of food shortages is likely. 
Don't take chances. Make the decision to acquire a dependable supply of long-lasting emergency food. Food that lasts for up to 25 years in storage, ready the moment you need it. There's an old saying, failing to plan means planning to fail. Don't wait for the next crisis. Have a three-month, six-month, or even one-year supply of food on hand. It's easy and affordable. We're My Patriot Supply, America's leader in emergency preparedness. We've served millions of folks like you for over a decade, and our mission is your survival. Our meals are delicious and provide you with 2,000 calories a day, and our kits arrive quickly and discreetly at your doorstep. Visit MyPatriotSupply.com and feast your eyes on the food that could save your life someday. That's MyPatriotSupply.com. Take the pressure off yourself. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com and face the future without regrets. It's not enough to say it. You've got to say it with style and a sense of humor. We say it and a lot more. Weekday afternoons, sport talk. Still the afternoon destination for more than a generation. 102.3 FM. Talk Radio 102.3. The Cindy's Choice Show is sponsored by Cindy's Choice Ensemble of Experts. We bring lots of cars back. Thank you. Thank you for staying with us here on the Cindy's Choice. I know y'all are, y'all have gotten used to just hearing me come on here and process my story in real time. And I appreciate you so much. You know, uh, you're such a huge part of what we're doing here at Cindy's Choice. And, you know, it's it's a new season. Um, you know, we are stepping into a new year and we're still, we still got that. 2021. COVID cloud over us a little bit but i see the sun i you know we're breaking through and it's going to be so awesome and i just want to take a quick minute to appreciate all the integrity centric businesses found at cindyschoice.com uh you know this is a platform where it's it's a tough time for small businesses yes, larry it is. and it, it's like it's 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 hard you know just radio alone and then uh tv and then there's so you know there's social media there's print there's all these different mediums that you need to reach people and get exposed right. on and it's confusing and it's overwhelming mm. well city's choice has all those bases covered you know just for one price for a small business uh, integrity centric businesses that really care though there's it's uh city's choice it's not a list mm -hmm. it's it's a choice. I'm very selective, very protective. We're doing something really special. So and I get to work small, with special people these are like all Russell local Racing. Businesses, right? These yes. are all small local businesses. Rick Worley so and when Son. You spend that money, know. it comes right back into this, this yes, area. Yes, Rick Worley and Son Inc. And even the joint chiropractic, that's a, that's a homeboy. It's locally owned, and he's about to build the fourth location here. Chicken Salad Chicks, a franchise locally owned. Thomas Taylor cpa blue potato media oh my goodness canceler photography now these are local small businesses and through us collaborating the more businesses that we bring on guess what the more we can do and give right. back to the community right so it's pretty awesome what's happening oh my gosh y'all i'm not just attracting great businesses larry you've met my team i have landon you have and a brett great team i mean they're fabulous like, yeah They've yeah made me look great They've made me sound great. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm like a pro after, you know, two days of this. So y'all keep tuning in. And uh, and I, again, I'm excited about the podcast. Uh, Cindy's Choice is producing the, uh, I the get to Boyd like hang Speedway out at the racetrack show. every the week. The Boyd Speedway Show. Now, listen, I'm going to tell you, I am hoping we have a couple of racers that are coming on Saturday. And I am told that one of them is like 13 years old. One of them is 15 years old. And I'm told that there's a pretty good chance that one of those two is going to win a race. That's amazing. We got to get that. We got to get one of those two on the show because oh I want to understand at 13 years old, I was trying to figure out how to just sneak my dad's car out of the driveway when he was gone to sleep, much less go out and race it on a racetrack. That's amazing. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually kind of just a little, a, a little stunned. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, I think to that, learn something, to be that so good at something so that great. young, you know, we're talking like tiger and golf kind of thing. What kind of yep. racer is going to come out of, out of that kid? That's amazing, but that's okay. I, I got a later start and, um, I, I'm a little nervous, Larry, cause I really am going to end up on that track. You know that, don't you? <laughs> I know you are. You're going to end up I'm in like, an enduro I've, race. I've matured now. So I hope like that you know, I had, I had to stop hang gliding because I, I just was always like wanting like to push the limits, 
and you know, it's that that's good to a point. And, uh, but I, I'm, I know I'll be out there. It's, it's pretty fast. Let me tell you now. I, I drove at Talladega. Whoa. And that was really, really fast. We don't, we don't get quite to that kind of speed. How does that happen? How do you get to drive so it? You can go and do the driving experience. Oh, there. So okay. my, you know, Emerson, our owner, my father-in-law, super guy used to race there. He's a big racing fan. I mean, we go to Bristol races every year. We go to Daytona races and he wanted to go to Talladega and drive the track at Talladega. So we went down and did the driving experience. Now he was faster than I was, but I still got to 162 miles an Whoa. hour on the track. And that was my top end speed. You just don't realize how fast that is. It so just you're goes going by. that it's fast. Just, <laughs> I mean, everything's just blowing by. No, you. that's it's really, really crazy. fast. It's just crazy. And it's so amazing. All right. Um, let's hit any other quick points. Uh, we've got a few minutes here, Larry. Uh, Saturday night. So, uh, yep. Get Saturday your, you can night, get tickets online. You can get tickets online, but you can also get tickets uh, day of the event. Um, Friday is practice. Mm -hmm. We'll open the gates on Friday at three o'clock for people to start coming in, uh, bring in the race car haulers. Uh, practice to the general public is free. You can come to the grandstands and sit and watch practice on Friday. Get a taste of what you're going to see on like Saturday. That. On Saturday, uh, we will open the gates at 9 a.m. in the pits, and we'll open the gates to the general public in the grandstands at 10 a.m. Racing will be started by right around about 12:30. We'll have the we'll have the lineups ready to roll. We'll have people out doing hot laps. John Schneider right singing the, the national anthem. And let's not forget John Schneider, my new best friend, is coming to Boyd Speedway great? this weekend. Epic! I'm telling He's you, gonna this sing is going the national to be anthem. epic. I think that his rendition of the national anthem, I got to tell you, listen to him to talk about what it means to him. Mm. I'm so excited to hear him sing the national anthem. It's, it's going to be really, really awesome. I, I think it's something that we just need right now because the, the cabin fever was the perfect name <laughs> yes. for this race because uh cabin fever is that's, that's, uh, that's not healthy. We need to, we need to get our fever down. So come on, Al, this is going to be so much fun. And, you know, I'm, like I said, I've gotten, I don't get to go to the studio and hang out with, like Cowboy Craig and all those folks anymore. I'm like in my studio talking all by myself. And it's like just lately, just having guests, I'm like all giddy. I'm like, oh, wow, well, there's somebody in the conversation. There's people in the room. Yep. So yep. It's, it's really, really awesome. Uh, this is a this good, been fun. safe, yeah. outdoor, you know, space to uh, enjoy some. I, I can already hear like, you know how the noise, just the noise. It's like... Um, you know, the excitement of the cars racing oh, the, by and everything. The, when you hear the engines crank and the rumble. Yeah, rumble, 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 oh, rumble, my goodness. It's, yeah, it's, We're so ready for that's that. when you know it's ready to go. All right. Well, hey, go and like my page. Like Cindy's Choice Then. Go like the Boyd Speedway page. And y'all just keep tuning in. Keep keeping up with us. There's so much more. There's so much getting stirred up. And that's, that's happening here. So just keep tuning into Cindy's Choice every Wednesday, right here live, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m., right after Sport Talk, for goodness sakes. And then you know how I'm going to leave you, leave you the way I always do. I'm going to remind you to be brave. Be brave. You cannot do anything. You can't have integrity. You can't love. You can't do anything without courage that's that's going to be fulfilling or worthwhile in your life. Be safe out there. And I always want to remind you, you are not born a winner. You are not born a loser. You're born a chooser. So go make good choices. Thanks, Larry. Right. Thank you. This has been great. And I totally forgot to record this. I know. Brandon turned it on. He did? Yeah, I had him turn it on after the first break. You're amazing. So if you... I just end it. It'll say. Okay. I always do that. Yeah, you didn't get the first section of John, but I was like, hey, did you, are we recording? He so, like, no. And I was like, did you just? I'm, this is so me because I'm used to being, I have my little system. Oh.